Welcome back to Yankees Hot Stove. As promised, we are joined by Hall of Famer Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer of all time. And Mariano, I don't need to do any research to know that you have the all-time saves record with 652. But now you're trying for save 653. Can you explain to me what that means? That's right, Jack. I mean, uh, first of all, thank you for having me, Jack. And, uh, well, 653 means that uh, in my career as a Yankee, I have 652. But uh, this one is about the real life. This one is uh, 653 means that uh, uh, we're trying to build a learning center for those in in need, those uh, on the surf uh, youth to provide them with the opportunity to succeed. You know what I mean? And we want to be their feet, their mouth, their hands, and, and why not? So I think that's the biggest, the bigger save in my career. This will be as big as any save that you've ever had, as you said, maybe bigger than any. It'll be the Mariano Rivera Learning Center in New Rochelle, 40,000 square feet, as you said, to underserved youth. Mariano, why is this project so important to you? Jack, it's important to me because, I mean, I remember where I came from, you know, and uh, I was told that I wasn't good enough to accomplish uh, good things, you know, and a lot of people point fingers at you. So, I mean, I took that as a challenge, and uh, the Lord provide an open door for me so I can thank God and his mercy. I was able, through the through my teammates in a great organization, accomplish what we accomplished. So when we see these boys and girls, the people point fingers at them. I remember my uh, my youth back home, and uh, I definitely wanted to prove people wrong, prove people that, uh, yes, uh, if you put your mind into it, and with the bless of the Lord, you can accomplish whatever you want, you know, whatever is in, the, in, in your heart. So therefore, uh, Jack, that's why, it's so important for me, this uh, 653 safe, because, I mean, it will change the life of many youth. Mariano, for those who want to help, they can go to the Mariano Rivera Foundation.org website. There is information there. But also, if they want to do it very simply, all you have to do is text GIVE42 to number 44-321. So anyone who wants to help this cause, please go to that website or text to that number. And Mariano, even though the building isn't up yet and the Learning Center has not been built yet, you've already been active in helping some of these youth. How rewarding is it when someone comes to you and says he or she has achieved a goal and you know that you had a big part in helping that person get there? It's, it's no money they can uh, give you the satisfaction of the rewarding because it's, it's, it's so refreshing and a, and a blessing, Jack, knowing that uh, you just help someone and you don't know how that one will help others. So, I mean, for me, it's, it's special, again, because, I mean, giving is the name of the game. You know, giving back to the community, giving back to those in need. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, 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 a, I'm one of them, you know, I was given an opportunity and I take advantage of it. And uh, so these ones, you know, these youth, they need opportunities so they can take advantage of it. So we have to create opportunity for them, Jack. And I mean, through the Mariano Rivera Foundation in this learning center that we're about to build, uh, we want to create that. Mariano, you mentioned earlier that you've never forgotten where you came from, and that was Puerto Caimito, Panama. But you've also said that your second home and your second love is New Rochelle, where you've lived since 1995. What allowed a kid from Panama to fall in love with New Rochelle? It's amazing. I mean, Jack, a kid from Panama, man, come to New Rochelle and uh, thank God for a family. Uh, his name, you know him, Joe Fusina. I mean, they like, they like my family, you know, and uh, love them to death. And uh, these people have been great, and they live in New Rochelle, so they introduced me to New Rochelle. And I saw the beach and, and, and the water, and uh, remind me my hometown. So, I mean, that, I, I fell in love right away with the town and uh, to today. You know, I, I pass more time in New Rochelle than in my own house. And for those that don't know Joe Fasina, he is the longtime tailor 
for the Yankees. He makes sure those pinstripes look great on everyone, like Mariano. If he had a little pocket that needed <laughs> stitch, Joe Ficino was there to make sure that that got mended. But since we're talking about the Yankee uniform, Mariano, Yankees brought back DJ LeMahieu. They signed Kluber. They signed Tyone. You're a fan now. You're watching the Yankees from afar. What's your outlook for them for 2021? I love that. I love that they brought out uh, LeMahieu. I mean, they needed to do that, you know, but at the same time, uh, the name of the game, Jack, is pitching. So we cannot have enough pitching. So I'm glad that, uh, I mean, these youngsters, I mean, Severino is coming back, got willing, and, and, and many others that uh, are capable to help the thing as, uh, as much as they can and uh, take the team to a different level. So, I mean, again, I mean, I'm so uh excited to see what this season brings but uh also i can't wait for the yankees to uh do their thing